Renewable energy sources are forms of energy derived from naturally replenishing resources that can be continuously replenished within a human time frame. These sources provide a sustainable alternative to finite fossil fuels, offering numerous environmental and economic benefits. One of the most efficient renewable energy sources is solar energy. Solar power harnesses energy from the sun using photovoltaic cells or solar thermal collectors. PV cells convert sunlight directly into electricity, while solar thermal systems use sunlight to generate heat, typically for heating water or buildings. Solar energy is abundant and clean, potentially meeting a significant portion of global energy demand. Today, we will learn about how a solar cell converts light energy into electrical energy. First, let's understand how is a solar panel made and what components it is made up of. The manufacture of a solar panel is straightforward. The solar panel is made up of many solar cells. In each solar cell, crystalline silicon is sandwiched between two conductive layers. Each silicon atom is connected to its neighbors by four strong bonds, which keep the electrons in place so no current can flow. A silicon solar cell uses two different layers of silicon, an N-type semiconductor and a P-type semiconductor, which are designed to absorb photons from sunlight. The N-type silicon is negatively charged because it has extra electrons, and P-type silicon is positively charged because it has fewer electrons and more extra spaces for electrons, called holes. Where the two types of silicon meet, electrons can wander across the PN junction leaving a positive charge on one side and a negative charge on the other. We can think of light as small particles called photons. When the semiconductor material absorbs a photon, it transfers its energy to an electron in the material, knocking it out of its atomic bond. The electron is now free to move and the absence of the electron leaves behind a positively charged hole in the material. The negatively charged electron and the location of the positively charged hole are now free to move around. However, the structure of the solar cell is designed to create an internal electric field within the semiconductor material. This electric field acts as a gradient that pushes the free electrons toward one direction and the holes toward the opposite direction. Due to the electric field, the free electrons are pushed towards the front surface of the solar cell while the holes are pushed towards the back surface. This separation of charge creates a voltage difference between the front and back surfaces of the cell. The mobile electrons are collected by thin metal fingers at the top of the cell. From there, they flow through an external circuit, doing electrical work like powering a light bulb or charging a battery, before returning through the conductive sheet on the back. We hope you learned something knowledgeable from this video. If you do then make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel.